This is a video by Dr. David Johnson, East Tennessee State University, about how to use codegen.eu. It is a uh, web-based application that will analyze your data, SNP data, genome SNP data from 23andMe, Ancestry.com, and other sources. It is anonymous and it does not require any registration. When you're through, you can delete your file, uh, and, and you can also edit your genome information. I download mine from uh, from 23andMe and then edited it. This is an example of, uh, it's not mine, it's somebody else's, but you can see the SNPs on the left, uh, what chromosome they're on, the positions, and you can see there's the thousands and thousands of pages of this. So, but I edited the material at the top, so this is uh, to obscure this individual, and so you can do the same with yours. When you're done, end the session and close the browser. Uh, what you will find out, the tools to help you explore your individual 1,600 to 3,000 page report, uh, modern search, uh, and it uses various filters and other things to do it, instant processing, fast browsing your data, all built from scratch by algorithms, so no one really looks at your data and analyzes it. It uses a lot of resources such as Snippedia, uh, gene cards, get evidence, uh, the genome-wide studies from the European uh, Educational Unit NHGRI-EBI, PubMed, OMIM, and other resources. The report is generated by data mining, third-party sources that mentioned above, and applying ML algorithms and trained on usage data and human label data. This site and its components are offered for informational purposes only. This site shall not be responsible or liable for the accuracy, usefulness, or availability of any information transmitted or made available via the site and shall not be responsible or liable for any error or omissions in that information. By using this site, you agree to always consult your doctor before taking any action based on your report. This information was just copied from their website. Important, we do not offer medical advice. Please always discuss with the doctor any piece of information or, inf or uh, the information here is gathered by alg algorithms and might be inaccurate or wrong. It could be wrong. So you need to be careful about how you analyze, how you t how seriously you take these data and information. And so look at look over all this stuff. It's actually free of charge. Uh, it's Creative Commons attribution, non-commercial. Then uh, this was updated in 2016, and they have the right to update this from time to time. So you may need to go back and reread it from time to time. And so here we go to CodeGen, and uh, you'll see here. I'll bring it over, and you'll uh, we'll take a look at this. So here's CodeGen, and you can go in to uh, start exploring. And you'll notice that you can uh, connect directly to 23andMe. I don't do that. I download my 23andMe data. I'm afraid if I connect directly to 23andMe, the data on me uh, that may be identif might identify me might be transmitted as well. And I do not want that to happen. They actually have some demo genomes that you can look at. You can get uh, information from other sources such as Genes for Good, Ancestry.com, MyHeritage DNA, VitaGene, WeGene, Family Tree DNA, and you can actually. Uh, and then I, once I've downloaded one, you can browse it. It's just a text file, and as you've seen earlier, and you open that <coughs> and start exploring. And it takes a minute to start doing this, but it uh, should start. So it's loading the data now. This is what you see once your data is loaded and you can look at the uh, information here. You can look at favorites here if you've got popular favorites you're interested in. Uh, and there, those things are linked to socially related personality traits and behaviors. Uh, so you can look at that if you'd like to. There's various things you can, you know, so this Supposedly, this person has a lack of empathy. Uh, not sure exactly that that's real or not, but you can look down here, and there are comments down here, and you can look at stress and whether this person's uh, your stress score. 
interesting. If it's if it's far negative, it's bad. If it's to the right, it's low stress individual. Uh, you can go back and look at a lot of things. You can look up here at risk, and you can go to uh, things that are bad, and it'll show you uh, that. So, so here's a three times higher risk of multiple sclerosis. Let's look at that and go down, and we'll uh, see how bad that risk is, and it's pretty bad uh, down here, so a uh, rather uh, score. But you can also link out to uh, individual more important information. You can go to actually see the SNP uh, if you want to go to, here's the little blue light-ups to go to directly to uh, SNP, Pete, to other SNPs. All right, look at that. You can, um, some of these we have direct papers available. Here is the paper. All these P, uh, PMIDs tell us that, that that's a paper associated out there with it. We'll go and get that paper. And so here's the genetic variants or major determinants of CFS antibody levels and multiple sclerosis. Uh, you can also go to OBIM, which is the on is online Mendelian inher inheritance in man. So you can go and uh, get that information as well. And so here's the major uh, information. You read a lot of information. So this is a really interesting, uh, good, useful research tool as well for looking at genes. Okay. Um, so this person has an increased risk of asthma. And, they, and people that use this add comments. And so some of them say, well, I, I lived in a smoked environment. I had a little as didn't have asthma. So remember, you, there are good genes and bad genes, and we all have a mixture of them. Some of the good ones offset our bad ones, fortunately, and we don't wind up always getting disease just because we have a predisposition for something. All right, let's go back to here, and you see how to use that. And so here's the end. Remember to close out the end of the session, close the browser. A little comment here. We can do no great things, only small things with great love. By a quote from Mother Teresa. It was pride that changed angels into devils. It is humility that makes men and women as angels. St. Augustine, thank you, and I hope you find this useful.